Hi! Welcome to my home workspace. This is the place where I can roll up my sleeves, go on working with my favorite things like hobbies and crafts and not be in the way of family. So for the ladies who are here for the first time, I'm Nenet Sadiwa. And for those of you who have been with Women to Women for some time now, I am so glad and it's really good to be back with you in service. You know, like most of you, the last two years have been quite daunting and enlightening at the same time. You know, it was daunting because of the uncertainty that it brought in terms of material provision. Some of you lost your jobs. Some had to close businesses because of the lockdowns and for a host of other factors. But at the same time, it was enlightening as it opened up a lot of time for introspection, reflection, and rediscovery. For me, who has been working in the corporate track for 40 years, the last two years delivered the much needed time to retool and go back to the things that I like doing the most. Crafts, handcrafting, working with my hands and using these God-given tools to create, to mend, to fix, or just be handy around the home, which I found most gratifying. Now, what does it mean to be handy? In the dictionary, handy means convenient to handle, to use, useful. And the other meaning is having it close at hand. So what it brought to mind really was a, uh, was a Proverbs 31 woman who made herself handy around the people she loved, especially at home. It reads in verses 13, well, some selected verses from, verse, uh, from Proverbs 31. So verse 13 says, she selects wool and flax and works with eager hands. In her hand, this is verse 19, she holds the distaff and grasps the, grasps the spindle with her fingers. In verse 22, she makes coverings for her bed. She is clothed in fine linen and purple. And in verse 24, it says, she makes linen garments and sells them and supplies the merchants with sashes. As you read the entire Proverbs 31 account of this godly woman, you will see that she was diligently working with her hands. Now, you don't need to be a gifted person, to be handy around the home. Each one of us has been given a pair of hands that we can use. And in the 21st century, it does not need talent or skill to be handy, to be useful. Translating the Proverbs 31 woman today, it tells me that we need to learn skills relevant to our day and age. Like, we no longer need to spin cloth to clothe ourselves or to make fine linen for our beddings, right? We can easily buy them online or off the shelf, off the rack. But, you know, if we needed to work things from scratch, do it from scratch, whether in the closet to organize our clothes, your husband's clothes or your children's clothes, or in the studio, diba? To take a selfie uh, in your studio or a private room or in a garden to be a plantita, or on the road and on the go your errands, or in the kitchen. All you need to do as you cook, as you bake, as you create all these things, you do these things as unto the Lord. Now, what can a woman do skillfully today? How can you work with hands that God has given you? Well, I have a couple of things, and I'm sure you can add to this list. The first one is plan and execute great meals for the family, for friends, whether it's for two people or a group. Learn first aid, especially in times like these. You'd like to be able to tend to your sick loved ones without having to worry, or the need to worry, or the need to bring them to a hospital because you can render the first aid that's needed at home. Or start a garden, begin with one pot. Or maybe even use bottles like this one that I used. I, I broke the tip of this uh, pitcher. It could no longer be used. So what I did, I picked up a plant that could root easily in the water and use it for the house as an indoor, as, as a, a little, you know, to spruce up spaces in the house. And then you can also use the internet for quick searches 
or a research for any subject, either to help your skill uh, to your kids for the homework or even for your own self-knowledge. Or you can also use the internet to do quick searches to optimize the cost of food, furnishings, and clothing, finding the, 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 the lowest finds but good quality um, items. Boy, you can actually spend some time doing that, but also bringing in good finds for your family and yourself. And not only uh, clothing or furnishing, but you can also use the, the internet now, online shopping for uh, the best appliances and tools that you can use inside or outside the house. And of course, um, like I'm sure a lot of you like doing is to decorate your house either for appeal, for comfort, or even for investment. Now, as for how to be handy, here are some tips that I found very useful in these lockdown times. So the first one is find your own workspace in the house where you can work on your crafts, hobbies, your interests, undisturbed or not disturbing of anyone. Organize your toolkit so that everything is within easy reach. And to minimize the effort of looking for your scissors, your needle, your thread, your glue, your paint, your brushes while in the middle of your work. And thirdly, if you want to forget like me, keep your most used tools in every possible workstation in your house. So there are examples of these. Ball pens, huh? Notepads or post-its, oh. scissors, eyeglasses, an extra pair of eyeglasses, hand towels, soap, alcohol, or even disinfectant. And yes, face mask, an extra, or having face mask all over your house because you tend to forget on your way out, you find a corner where, it's, where you can remember to bring it with you. We still need it today, even if things have um, have slackened in terms of protocols, we still need our face masks to be safe. So and finally, before I end, there is one tool that as you busy yourself on your day, that you should keep handy. And this is what? The Word of God. It's always good to be reminded that all the skills, all the talent, all the resource, and all the time that we spend comes from Him. And the daily dose of feeding from His Word is the source of energy we need to be useful not only to the people and for the people around us, but to be handy in God's kingdom. In 1 Corinthians 12, 4, we are told that there are different kinds of gifts but the same Spirit distributes them. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. There are different kinds of working, but in all of them and in everyone, it is the same God at work. In verse 11, it says, All these are the work of one and the same Spirit, and He distributes them to each one just as He determines. So ladies, this year, Let's endeavor to work on the gifts that we were given for the very purpose that each of us has been called to. And as I have tips on how to be a handy at home, here are my two, here are my two for how to be handy in God's kingdom. The first one, find a place for a time of quiet with our Lord to refresh, to reboot our spirit daily. And second, in every corner where you can have a moment with God, have His best tool, the Bible, handy for your conversations with Him. God bless you all.